something that I, I think I, I talked a lot of my friends and so forth, it seems like we do see more extremes in our weather than it used to be. And I don't know if it's because we're getting older or what it is, or if we just, you know, watch it more. But um, I think I think the no-till has just really helped out those extremes that we see out there. As a kid, I can remember those five inch rains and so forth, and then everything runs to the bottom of the hill and so forth, or the seed will run um, you know, off the soil and, and you won't get a good stand, which is the most important part of your, your spring anyway. I just think the no-till helps in all those aspects of whether you get the extreme wet or dry because it's, uh, it's just going to help even out the playing field It's um, as far as not all of a sudden you don't have to rely on a rain every little bit because you've got extra um, moisture in the ground because of the residue that's helped catch the moisture from that big rain or whatever it might be and it keeps the sun from baking and drying out that soil. And, losing it from evaporation. And there's, there are times when we do get that excessive rain that, that that means so much to keep that last drop on there instead of it running off because we all know that if you've got residue there, each, all that helps keep that moisture and help get that moisture percolated on down into the, into the ground instead of having it erode and in turn cause problems, whether it runs into streams or, or whatever, that's, that's something none of us want to see have happen. So. What we've seen in this area, we, we continue to plant earlier and earlier and uh, that's something that I, I believe has increased our yields probably and uh, but uh, it, it's something that that I look at that if for no other reason it, it helps us get to harvesting earlier so we have less chance for maybe a, a wind or a snowstorm or something like that and we farm quite a few acres, so you can't get it all harvested at the same time. So you need to try to get started as early as you can and, and uh, try to keep from having one of those early snowstorms or a big wind event that comes through that uh, might want to lodge some, some of the crop.